squad welcome back to the channel you guys happy thursday okay yeah today's thursday happy thursday welcome to all my new supporters and from my supporters that have been supporting your girl from day one i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you so I just want to say thank you guys for the video that I posted of when my pastor had crossed the line. It took me a little minute to build the, build up the courage to put out that video. I did get a little emotional when I was talking about my niece. Um, she's like the oldest niece that was in the family. So I'm glad that y'all was able to you know, I hope that that video did touch someone because I know there are some people that have experienced that and may going through that now. So I hope that video shows you how I was able to overcome the situation. Um, thank y'all for y'all support on that video. Y'all really showed out for your girl and I truly, truly do appreciate you all. Um, I know I haven't been consistent with my videos in the past and I say, okay, I'm coming back and I leave and I come back and leave. Y'all know the story. But I hope that y'all are now seeing that I am being consistent as far as putting content for you guys on my channel. So I just want to say thank y'all for sticking with me. Thank y'all for y'all support and y'all kind words. So I do want to keep that, um, I do want to keep the consistency going so I am right now video ideas if I have and you know I'm still gonna be bringing y'all hauls and vlogs and other things as well so stay tuned for that but today's video is going to be nothing similar to what I put out the other day but um, this one kind of hit home as well. Sorry, you guys. My throat is dry. It's dry. But on um, this video, um, this is something that a lot of people don't know. Um, again. <laughs> but... Um, this video is kind of touchy as well, but I do know there are a lot of people that have experienced this. Um, this is about the time. Go Hi, guys. Bye. That's my son, y'all. We'll go fish some chips. We'll go fish some chips. My son interrupted me. But anyways, so this video is going to be about the time that I was pregnant with my first daughter, my oldest daughter. And, you know, some of the stresses and the things that I've been through at that particular time. Um, I was married to her father. I got married at the age of 18, you guys. A lot of people don't know that. I got married very young. High school sweethearts. Um, very young. Very young. Didn't know nothing about marriage. Um, so, we got married early. I was 18 at the time. He was 20. 20 at the time. No, yeah, 20 at the time, 20 or 21 at the time, yeah. Um, I went to the prom with him and everything, so, um, I didn't have my daughter until I turned 22, so, we was married for four years before I even got pregnant. So, when I got pregnant, I want to say at my fourth month of pregnancy, we had a house. Um, we had a dog. His name was Dino. It was a... Um, a boxer mix with something else. I forgot the name of the dog. But it was a very expensive dog at the time. So, I was at home by myself um, getting ready I think I was, yeah, I was getting ready for work at the time. And the dog, I did not know that the dog had peed in the hallway um, until I had got up. Because I had the bedroom door closed. And as soon as I opened up the door, went into the hallway, I fell down in the house. So, 
So I end up calling my doctor's office on the phone. They told me immediately go to the emergency room, which I did. I went to the emergency room. Um, my doctor's office had already called and let them know that I'll be coming in. So they immediately took me back to the fifth floor, which was the pregnancy floor. And um, at that time, they put me on the monitor. I had to get undressed. They put like the little monitor over my stomach. They was checking me out to make sure I was okay. They was checking the baby to make sure the baby was okay. So at that time, um, the baby was okay. I was okay. You know, I stayed in there for at least about a five or six hours. I stayed in there about a good five or six hours. I stayed in... Um, on the maternity floor so after those five or six hours everything was fine my vital was fine everything checked out so when I got released from the hospital in the front of the hospital um, that's where the patients come at and you know you have to wait for your ride to come and pick you up as I was waiting for the ride to come and pick me up on the top of the hospital. Y'all know a lot of majority of the hospitals have like a little landing pad for the helicopters, like when emergency helicopters come in. So the helicopter was coming down and I felt like a lot of pressure. Um, so as I began to feel like a lot of that pressure on the top of my head, I'm gonna think it was coming from the helicopter. No biggie. It was a lot of doctors and nurses that was coming uh, coming off of their shift and some was coming in their shift. So I was just standing there, just minding my business, waiting for my ride to come and pick me up. And then all of a sudden, I passed out. I blanked out. I did not know what happened until like, I want to say a couple of days later, because they said I... They said um, the nurse, when I was finally able to understand what was going on, the nurse told me that um, when she came out the door, she saw me hitting my head on the outside of the hospital wall. Now, keep in mind, the hospital is like complete stone. So... And then she said, all of a sudden, I fell backwards. But I did not fall on the ground backwards. The nurse and the doctor actually caught me. They put me in a the wheelchair. They carried me inside to be rechecked over again to readmit me. Um, they told me that basically they was asking me what my name was, where I was at, where year it was. Um, they said I didn't know nothing. I was basically talking outside of my head. I didn't know where I was at. I didn't know my name. I didn't know nothing. Everything they was basically asking me, they didn't know my name at all. So they tried to call my husband at the time. He was not available. Um, so they ended up calling my mom. My mom came. I stayed in the hospital for like a week. You guys, and so they was monitoring my blood pressure, all of that, infant, all of that. So, um, they took me, um, every time they took my blood pressure laying down, it read one thing, but every time I get up, my blood pressure was like sky high, it was just through the roof. Um, I was dizzy, you know, they had to, um, I had to catch myself. So I stayed in the hospital for like a week, you guys. Yeah, when I finally came to my senses and realized where I was at, my name, my age, date of birth, you know, all them little small and random questions that they asked me. It was like a couple of days later. I want to say maybe the fourth day. But anyways, um, um, when they was checking me one particular time, um, they did like an ultrasound on my on my belly to see if the baby was okay. And then they told me, because I was super big. Everybody was telling me, they was like, you look like you carrying twins. I'm like, no, because when I went to the doctor, I heard a heartbeat. There was only one heartbeat there. Um, they didn't see two sacks or none of that. They just seen one big sack. I'm up there thinking like, this is going to be a big baby. I blew up. Like, literally, 
blew up. So what happened was when they did the ultrasound, they was able to see the other baby. And they basically told me that the other baby was in my fallopian tube. So I ended up losing the baby at that particular month, at that particular time. I was like four months at the time. I did not even know it when I first originally went to the doctor and then I went to the doctor again to get another checkup. They didn't see none of that information. They didn't see no, they didn't see two sacs. They didn't see no splitting sacs. So I'm not sure when that baby came in. Maybe the baby was there the entire time. Uh, maybe the baby was hiding. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure like when you get ultrasound done, you know, they check your fallopian tubes. You know, it's been so long, you guys. Uh, I was sick from the moment that I found out I was pregnant up until the day that I had my daughter. Like, literally sick. I barely work. I couldn't hardly keep nothing down. It was just all me part of being pregnancy. I couldn't eat crackers no matter what I eat or drink. It was just, it could not stay down. The only thing that I was able to keep down and to, like, have some type of normalcy was eating ice. And that's where my love for eating ice came in at is when I got pregnant for my oldest daughter. It, it, it was just crazy. That was the only thing that was really helping me at the time was just eating ice. Um, later on throughout the pregnancy, I was able to eat. I want to say around about the six month of me being pregnant. That's when I was able to like really eat things, but I was still feeling nauseated. But yeah, I ended up losing um, a twin and it was just, at, at first I did not know what to expect. It was just like, I guess I was so much into shock that I was pregnant with twins. I mean, I was that big and everybody noticed it and everybody was asking and I was telling them basically no, you know, there's only one baby here. But it was just like, I didn't know how to feel about that situation. I mean, I was, you know, I, I was crying because of the, the situation, me falling down and me being in the hospital and just, you know, of course I was crying, but my main focus was on making sure that the baby was okay. That was my main focus was to make sure my baby was okay. I really wasn't too much caring about me and my feelings. I was just wanted to make sure that my baby was okay. But, um, when they told me that, it's just like, I didn't know how to feel. It's just like, and I was thinking like, should I be sad? I'm not happy, but I'm not sad either. It's like, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm not sure, you know, if anyone has been through that and they had that same particular feeling, make sure you leave a comment and let me know. But it's just like, I guess I was like in a state of shock to where I didn't know how to feel about the situation. And basically they told me there was nothing they could do because the baby was in my tubes. So they couldn't like go into my tubes and, you know, trying to fix it to you know so I can be able to have the baby it was basically the baby was just there and it, it my pregnancy was so bad you guys I swelled up my face was swollen my whole entire body was swollen I, I feel like my esophagus was swollen too because it was just it, it was crazy with that situation but um Later on, my husband did come to the hospital to see what was going on. Um, that's a whole different story within itself. <sighs> but um, I just wanted to get on here and share, you know, to see if anyone have experienced that. I know there are a lot of people that have experienced loss of a child. You know, they made it through their whole pregnancy and then they end up losing a child or they end up losing a child later on. Or, you know, during their pregnancy, they end up losing a child. So it's like that was my first time ever experiencing that. And then years later, um... 
when I had got pregnant with my second daughter, that's when I began to, like, that's when it hit me, like, am I going to be pregnant with twins again and I end up losing one? That was, like, very, very heavily on my mind, and that's when I began to cry about it, and I was like, that's when it really hit me when I got pregnant again. Like, the first time that I found out, it was like I was shocked. I cried, but it was like I was shocked more than anything. But when I got pregnant the second time, that's when it really hit me. I was like, okay, I don't want to go through this process over again of knowing that I may have a child. And the, um, I may have two children and one may not be able to make it. Because this time around, it's going to be like, is I'm really going to feel it. Like the first time, I really didn't too much understand but the second time around it's like okay now i really gonna understand what's going on so that's why i said you know being pregnant and carrying a baby is it's stressful it's a lot on you it's a lot on your body you know, you go through all the emotions any little thing could tee you off tick you off and during my pregnancies, like, I couldn't stand crease when I go into the, the restaurants, especially McDonald's. I could not stand McDonald's onions. I could not stand the grease. It was, like, something terrible. Your senses be, like, ten times stronger when you're pregnant. It's just like, oh, all the stuff you smell, and it's just crazy, crazy. But I just want to get on here and share this story with you guys. That's the end of my story time. Now, if y'all like these story times and y'all want me to share more stories, just leave me a comment or two and let me know how you feel about these story times that I've been putting out there. Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit that little subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. All right, and make sure you share this video out. Now, also, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when I upload new content to the channel, okay? Also, in the description box, all of my social media platforms, links are in the description. box all you have to do is just click on it and it's going to take you directly there make sure you go follow and subscribe to the social media um, platforms also you guys we do have a family gaming channel our family gaming channel links are in the description box below as well the links are there all you have to do is go and click on it and we are on youtube facebook twitter instagram it's the chat, which is Instagram. We on Twitch, Discord, so make sure y'all guys go check that information out. We also on TikTok, tick, TikTok, TikTok as well. So make sure you guys go and like and follow as well. All of the information will be in the description box down below. Okay? All right, so I will see y'all on the next video. Peace.